Tonight we are in downtown Mount Dora and we had a suggestion to eat at Shiva, hopefully I'm saying that right, <clears throat> Indian restaurant. I'm pumped. It does seem pretty crowded down here, so as long as the wait's not super long, we're gonna go try it out. Do you know what you would get? to look at their menu i liked quite a few things from india i actually introduced you to indian food you yes did. yes you did we've never been it's gonna be i mean we've never even like step like it's all a new experience for us i just know it's a cool exterior yes we've walked by it a couple times let's go check it out just like with every probably every mount dora video we make Parking can sometimes be a little tricky, especially on a busy evening, but we got lucky. We found a spot over in this parking spot. Um, the street, I can't see what the street is, but it's right at the start of downtown. Let's see, that says Fifth Street. This street says McDonald. Looks like this street's McDonald. There's a parking lot right off McDonald Street that way. And Shiva's just gonna be right up here, Shiva Restaurant. Right up here on the corner. Sorry, that Jeep is really loud. There's downtown parking as well. But right next to this uh, Next Home Real Estate office where these lights are is Shiva Indian Restaurant. Currently gonna cross wherever, whichever hand lights up first for us. You think this one will? We'll see. Whichever one. And it was this one. This one ended up turning first. Looks like we got one more to cross. Crossing this road. You have next home, Serendipity Brews. And then right next to that, Shiva Indian Restaurant. And this is what we were talking about. Look at the outside. This is awesome. It also says, welcome to Shiva's. Oh, that is really neat. That's very cool. Very cool outside. There is some outdoor seating. I'm looking for the hours. I'm not seeing the hours on the door. It does say we are open, so we're good there. This is a nice little exterior. So as we're looking inside, very small place, so it might get a little awkward, but let's see if there's any seating. I don't know if there is going to be. Yeah, I don't know. Is there any seating? Oh, it's very small in here. There might be enough, but oof, small. Might be able to sit out here. That may not be bad. Here's a look at the ceiling in here. It's so small. I can't really film much of the restaurant, but I think back in that corner is pro probably the restrooms. All right, we got our seat again very small place but let's show the menu so first page is gonna be appetizers again this is our first time ever looking at the menu so looks like they've got vegan spicy very spicy and gluten-free as their little symbols then if we turn to the next page we've got soup Just gonna keep going through this. Sorry if it's hard to see. It's kind of darker in here. Then if we turn to the next page, some chicken. This is a big menu, very large menu. Lamb. Goat. And then back here we've got the bread. sauces desserts Ooh, looks like some delicious desserts drinks again sorry if this is kind of dark it's just a dark place so do you know what you're getting you do what are you getting like you already know your food oh yeah oh i just meant drink water 
Is it bad that I'm already trying to decide which dessert to get? Look at this Indian ice cream made with milk. Or even this sweet cottage cheesecake soaked in rose flavored milk. Oh man, that sounds very good. I guess I need to look and see what I'm actually gonna get to eat. So this is what Timber was saying she was gonna get this chicken sog. She said she absolutely loves it. You said you've had it before. That's what I always thought. Nice. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna get. I don't know. We could share. We could try an appetizer. We got a huge menu. Well, what's this mixed appetizer plate? I have no idea what any of that stuff is. If you've ever been here before, tell us what your favorite thing to get is. I'm also gonna get sweet tea today. That just sounds very good. So I'm gonna do sweet tea to drink. I think we're gonna share the, wherever it's at, chicken sog. Do you wanna do naan? Naan sounds good. Let's go back to the bread. I'm all over the place here. Which one? Bread stuffed with cheese? Garlic naan. I didn't realize it had so much naan. So garlic naan, do you want with cheese or without cheese? Without cheese. We're gonna share the chicken sog. And then I really wanna try the, I have no, rasmalali. How in the world do you even say that? Rasmal, rasmalali. That sounds very good. I don't know what cottage cheese cake is but soaked in rose flavored milk. It's got me very curious. Although the top one, a light pastry made from fat-free milk and soaked in honey sugar syrup. Oh my goodness. I was kind of hoping they would have rice pudding though, because the place we used to eat at in Missouri had rice pudding and it was so good. So again, sorry that it is super dark in here. And small. Makes it a tad awkward when trying to film. I'm excited for this meal. Also, you can see the decorations they have on the wall. Really cool. It's a really neat place. It's got like good theming in here for sure. But there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine tables total, I think. And two of them were pushed together. So now there's really only eight tables. So. And I don't think, I could be wrong, there was outdoor seating, but I feel like it was just like a waiting area. I don't think they actually, I could be wrong, but I don't know if they actually served. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. So this is actually kind of, I guess, like rice pudding. Rice cooked with cashew nuts, raisins, coconut, and milk on a slow fire. But I was real, really kind of just talking about just like rice pudding. <laughs> like just rice made into pudding, because that's what they had that we tried out. It didn't have like any of the other stuff in it. It was just rice pudding. I'm sure it's very good though. So we ended up not getting any um, sauce with our naan because on the menu it showed it was like $9 for sauce and we figured we can just dip it in our entree. Also, for the entree they asked mild, medium, or hot and we went with mild, right? Went with mild. Gonna drive home still, so we went with mild. Here's what the tea looks like. I will say, I haven't tried it yet, but that looks like some delicious tea. How's the water? Not so good, you need to get something else. They had Sprite. Sweet tea. You can kind of see the decorations behind her there on the wall and then on the ceiling. All right, here's the tea. That is delicious. You're gonna want tea. That's very good tea. Wow, that's, that's good tea. The people next to us just got their food. It smells so good. I cannot wait to try this. It smells really, really good. Also, I'm not sure if ours comes with rice, so we might just order a side of rice. So it actually came with rice, so super pumped about that. Look at that. I love their little, like, bowls. Those are awesome. And then there's their garlic naan. That smells good, looks good. I'm very excited for this meal. Are you excited? It smells good, doesn't it? Oh, man. Let's dig in. I'm just gonna do, like, a slow pan of this. Since you seem like the pro at this, I want to watch. Start with the rice, plop some on there. 
I could get so many items from this place. We're gonna definitely have to come back and try everything because everything seems so good. Nicely done. Let's try the bread. Oh boy. That is very good non bread. I gotta take another bite. That's stinking good. What do you think? Would you give it stinking good? Oh, you're gonna, okay. Hold for one second. All right, got some chicken. You were right, that's good. You said I've had it before? You've made it? I made it at home and then we had it at, I think we tried it in Missouri. Oh, that's very good. I give all this thumbs up. I give it a stinking good. So here's a status update. We've got what? How many pieces did they give us? Five? I've had two. Six? They got us six pieces. And then we've almost finished up there. It's good because I'm not stuffed right now. I drink two teas. But we still got the dessert coming. So, like, it's a good portion. This is very good to make it, like, into a sandwich and then eat it. Love this. I love everything. It's very good. Down to the last piece of non bread and everything else is, like, licked clean. Did you like it? What's your take on it? Stinking good? That's what I figured. It's very good. I could, again, try multiple things here. We gotta come back. We still got dessert? Cottage cheesecake. I have no idea what that is. Rose milk. Look at this little, like, goblet-looking cup. I love that. This is what we got. Again, I have no idea what it is. Cottage cheesecake with rose milk? Just I love it. What do you think? I don't know. I'm scared. It is the teeniest little spoon I've ever seen in my life, but how is it? I don't know. You don't know? Well, then I gotta try it. It almost seems like ice cream, so it's weird when you actually go down here and like get it and it's the cake. Let's try it. All right, here we go. Whoa. You don't like the texture or flavor? I like it. I don't even know what it tastes like. I can I cannot sit here and tell you something that it tastes like. It's the first time I've ever tried anything like this. It's got very interesting flavor. It's like I know what it kind of tastes like. My dad used to make me milk toast. And when the milk sets on the toast for a while, that's kind of what it reminds me of. But as far as the flavor goes, you can taste rose. Rose milk, I like it. So I really enjoyed that. I actually ate the majority of that because you didn't like it, but I, I really enjoyed that. All right, and here's a look at the bill. So for everything, it is 36, 38. I don't think that's bad at all. I mean, I'm, I've drank three teas now, so I got my money worth there. But to share, $36.38 for some really, really delicious food. All right, now we're heading back outside. You can see how this wall looks. Back outside. Now it's completely dark out. Something Timber pointed out is, look, they've got the Hobbit right there. I love the Hobbit. One of my favorite things. Alice in Wonderland. Oh yeah, solid. So we crossed on the other side of the road here so you could see again the outside of the restaurant and what it looks like over there and kind of all the stores next to it there. If you can get lucky, you could potentially get parking right out in front of it, but you would have to get lucky. I loved it. I thought it was yeah. I thought it was a great place. All right, that was our trip down to Shiva Indian restaurant in downtown Mount Dora. I just want to say thank you. I guess we want to say thank you for the suggestion because that was amazing food. Mm -hmm. It was very good. very good. There are a few things we want to say. One is probably should call ahead and get a reservation, especially on a like Friday Popular night. Dining out night yeah. <laughs> yes, because as soon as we walked in, they're like, oh, did you call in? And we were like, no, they're like, all right, well, give us just a second. So definitely call in, get a reservation. Um, like we mentioned in the video, there's only what, like nine, eight, nine tables total. So it's close quarters, too. very, very close quarters. Also, I mentioned several times in the video, I couldn't really show the whole restaurant. Didn't feel comfortable doing that because I mean, there were people on right next yeah, to like, somebody. like this distance. Yeah. So a little awkward in there. Um, theming was good. Food was great. You didn't I care for the dessert. Yeah. Oh yeah. You didn't care for the dessert. No, I wouldn't get it again. I liked it. 
I did. It was mostly the texture, though. Gotcha. What were you going to say? Um, a lot of people were getting, like, uh, to-go orders. Yes. Or, like, call ahead, take home. Orders. Right. Something I didn't even think about that I got one time at the Indian restaurant in Missouri that we ate at was the... Mango Lassi. Yes. That drink. I saw somebody had it, and I was like, oh, I forgot about that. So next time I really want to try that because the one I had in Missouri was very good. And I assume this one's very good as well. Also, there's only like two people that are working. So just be patient because it did take. I mean, we were there quite a bit. Just get there knowing that you're going to enjoy your evening. Yeah, there. just hang out and have a good time. Um, they are working extremely hard and they're making delicious food. So just know that going into it. But I would recommend it. I think we both would recommend mm -hmm. giving it a shot, giving it a try. It's very good. It's high quality food. You just said something good too. Um, right before you got in the car, you said that. Did you get it? Oh, no, I see it. Hold on. There we go. Um, you said that you're not like stuffed. You could probably eat a few more. Like... I didn't eat near as much non bread as you, though. And sure. then I also didn't eat the dessert. And I drank three teas. Right. But I, the point being there, Sharing might be a little, like, might still be a little Maybe hungry. share a couple things. But also, if you do share, you're in downtown Mount Dora. There's other places to get, like, desserts and stuff. So just think about that going into it as well. Mm -hmm. I think that wraps it up. It's time to get home. Oh, I was going to say, I might try next time. What did we get? Mild? Yeah. I might try the medium next yeah, time. Yeah, because there was, yeah, it was. It wasn't spicy at definitely all. Definitely mild, so. It tasted good, but it would be, I'd like to try. Yeah. We're definitely going to be back. With that being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.